figuratively, nope, you know, figuratively grow a pair, right? Stop apologizing would be the first thing that I would say, right? The problem is that when you are being, yes, you should applaud that. Stop apologizing when you do nothing wrong. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back going to new videos. Today, going to check out kind as always, honest message to straight white meals. Okay, let's check this out. <laughs> so, it's kind of tough navigating the real world as a straight white male. How would it's how so would you, true? It's so sad. What is some of the best advice you could give a straight white male? just trying to get through modern day America. This is honestly like the realest question I've ever been asked. I'm just, <laughs> I, uh, and I'm laughing because I feel so bad and it's so crazy that we're here in life where like this should, this is the question that was probably asked uh, by black Americans anywhere as they came together during times of Jim Crow. And now suddenly it's like, gosh, I, I better just problematize myself. It's not a meritocracy if you're a white male. They're openly saying we don't want you because you're a white male. Um, so I first want to validate this question 100% because I mean, I just did Dr. Phil. I was sitting around with professors that were saying that they will not allow people into their school if they're white, right? Because it's just problematic to be white. Um, so the first thing I would say is that bless the fact that we live in this country and that you can be entrepreneurial and you can start your own businesses and you don't have to worry about what other people think about you or whether or not they like you. The second thing is that um, every person who is being treated like that needs to figuratively nope you know, figuratively grow a pair, right? Stop apologizing would be the first thing that I would say, right? The problem is that when you are being, yes, you should applaud that. Stop apologizing when you do nothing wrong. Hmm. Um, and I think that what has happened is that people have been so afraid of being smeared that they just apologize even when they, when they don't mean it. And that is the first thing that weakens a person, is saying stuff that you don't mean. It doesn't just weaken the individual, it weakens society at large. Um, and so if you do something wrong, you obviously say sorry, but if you don't do something wrong, don't apologize. And know that you're, in, you're, you know, you're amongst friends when you're in a room filled with conservatives, whether they're black, white, Hispanic, we all know what's actually happening in this country. And I do think that the size of this room demonstrates the mist of a sea change. So stay firm. Thank you. Mm. Okay, this was this was a beautiful message. Uh, she gave to him. She was she was shocked by his question. <laughs> this was a beautiful message. Uh, I love how kind of uh, kind of like handles some situations. Do not apologize if you know you don't do anything wrong. But if you do something wrong, then you apologize. Um, and the university says only black students is allowed. It's it's, it's terrible. I also heard about the only black students graduation. That is terrible. Like. That's a surface discrimination, if you ask me. Is it a discrimination? But this entire video was actually interesting to watch, and I love how Candace Owens is open minded. Like, I, I love people like her. They're open minded to new things and to know some more things. She's open minded to everyone. This is beautiful to watch. I, I love the video. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag. Like a old lady I'm back wood smoking I don't own papers Pass that 808 That don't don't shake her Oh bitch you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch in my bed I got scales